This teaching is very sensitive, could be embarrassing. However, it is detrimental that you learn of this issue and what to do about it to bring healing to a person that is trapped in this self-harming scenario, okay? Now, self-cutting, why do people do that? For those who don't understand, you will understand by the end of the video. And for those who know why they do it, you will learn how to turn away from that to be cleansed and healed so you no longer have to seek that as a way out. Okay, I am familiar with this and I shared this in a earlier video about, um, and I can share this because she no longer does it. Now, when I was just courting my ex-wife, we had an argument and she went back to her mother's after she left my apartment. Then I went after her because I knew I wanted to marry this woman. So when I got to her mother's place and she was sitting on the sofa and I was talking to her, I made a, to hug her as she was sitting, I was kneeling in, in front of her and then she cringed and I was like, wait a minute, what's going on here? So I lift up her shirt and across her stomach was a few lines, razor thin or looking like paper cut, thin uh, cut marks across her stomach. She cut herself. Now, when I saw that, because of my love for her, I, my exact words were, I love you very much. However, if I ever find a scratch on you ever again, I will be gone out of your life. As a result of that, she never did it again. And she used to do that before because I lived with her. We were married for about six years. And so the reason now why me sharing this is I know, you see, we were both, we did not have God in our relationship. Let me put it that way. I'll make another video about that. And it's going to be called Two Broke Can People Cannot Make a Whole Relationship. Okay? So the reason for her to do that and the reason why you do it or you know someone that does self-cut or self-harm is one main reason. It is the emotional pain that the person feels. She feels love, but the pain of the heart. You see, you cannot put a Band-Aid on the heart. That's why they say you need time to heal. No one can, can speed that process up. Everyone is different and you need um, a specific time pertaining to the individual. But the problem is because you can't deal with the emotional pain, they cut themselves. So this way it distracts. Now you have something physical. Now you have something present, something, something immediate to not to take away, but to distract. You see, that is not the same thing, but I will use this as a similarity, is the sacrificing of bulls. The blood only covered your sins. It did not take them away, but God could hear you and look upon you because he saw the blood of his animals that uh, was washed, that covered your sins. You see, sin cannot be in the presence of God. So when Jesus shed his blood, it didn't cover, it cleansed, it washed away, it disintegrated the sin. 
that's the power of the blood of Christ okay so what you need to do and to understand that the people that do this it is because they feel so deeply see some people these kind of emotional things won't affect them but yet the ones that actually have the strength to cut themselves it is because the emotional pain for them is so great they also have the potential to love deeply and that is why they they try to balance it out by having the upfront pain that they can handle which will eventually heal but the emotional pain they cannot control the longevity of how uh when it should heal for them and the only solution to this is because every single person that does this does not know Christ you cannot know Christ and still be in this turmoil because he came to take that away he said give me your burdens i'll take your 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 burden but i'll also give you mine that's a whole different thing so you need to reach out to jesus ask him to help you with this emotional pain remember he's been through all of it he's been tempted and he experienced every emotional discomfort and pain and anguish that we could ever imagine but while we only experience some of it we did not we don't experience all of it but he has so there's nothing you're going to come to him with that he does not know how to fix or heal or take away so heed my words those of you who self harm cut or if you know someone that does preach to them that there is someone out there who can heal and to take away so that they can love without reservation because that same unreserved love is what the Jesus demonstrated when he hung on the cross for us and he will give you peace I'm Pastor Rich Walking Ministries online and I will see you soon